My name is Bernhard Eidel and I am the rector of Heidelberg University. Heidelberg University was founded in 1386, so we are celebrating 625 years of our university in these days. Heidelberg University is also a comprehensive university, which has multiple links to extra university organizations and to a lot of institutions of the city. So we live in a symbiosis, the university and the city of Heidelberg itself, forming a wonderful environment for scientists all over the world. I think we have a wonderful cooperation of uh, more than 625 years in Heidelberg with the oldest university and the marvelous historical city, city of Heidelberg. More than three and a half million tourists are coming every year. But uh, the main focus is science, our science institutes and the university. In Heidelberg we have a very uh, high potential of employees which are mostly working in the science field. So more than 65% of all the employment uh, employees are working in institutes or in small and medium enterprises which are working very close together with the University or the Max Planck Institutes and the other science institutes. The university is situated or located in three campuses. One in the old city of Heidelberg, one in the water of Bergheim, and the third one is in Neuenheimer Feld in Neuenheim. So in the old city, the humanities play the main role, whereas the social sciences are concentrated in Bergheim, and natural sciences and medical faculties are in Neuenheim. But I want to emphasize that um, these three campus are not far away from each other, though by bicycles the students or even the scientists and the senior staff can connect, uh, can reach the campus within some minutes. The institute was founded at a time when the federal government had asked the federal states do something about developing countries. And uh, Heidelberg, uh, and particularly Baden-Württemberg, always being interested in scholarly work, they said, but we have to think about that first. So we'll establish an institute dealing with developing countries. And as Germany had a great tradition in Indology, there was the idea to go in for India. That's how the India business came about. The institute was supposed to be called Indo-Asia first. But then when our founding director, the, at that time vice-chancellor of the university, Wilhelm Hahn, visited the Indian president, uh, Radha Krishnan, he said, don't take this name, call it by its neutral geographic term, South Asia, because otherwise you'll be in trouble with our neighbors. And this was a very good advice, and we have followed his suggestion, and we have also subsequently done a great deal of good work in all South Asian countries. So, fine name for us. Collaboration between a university and industry is an essential dimension of academic research. And as far as the research in Heidelberg University is concerned, Heidelberg University does a lot of challenging fundamental research in collaboration with industry to benefit from a high level of knowledge transfer. CARLA, the Catalysis Research Laboratory where I am working now, it's an institute which is set up by the University of Heidelberg and the BASF Chemical Company and this institution is funded by both these partners. Mm -hmm. The concept of our lab relies on bringing academic and industrial researchers as close as possible to work in a single lab, fostering technology transfer from basic research into useful industrial applications. We do that by strong links to the industry because we want to transport, to translate the basic research 
the basic sciences to innovation, application, and last but not least, to the products for a new society, for the society of the future. Heidelberg is special to me because uh, it, of its international links, its uh, interesting history. It's a really small town, but I mean it has links with even um, uh, uh, Indian poets, for instance, like Iqbal. And uh, no matter which little alley you go down or which building you look up to, there's some kind of history associated with it. So it's really interesting to like kind of delve into this and um, ask questions and find out more about the city. So I really like living here. I lost my heart in Heidelberg, so I came to Heidelberg. I love the uh, scenic beauty of Heidelberg and I think it's one of the most student-friendly cities I've ever been to. So I like it here very much. <laughs>